Hi, welcome to ERP Next. In this tutorial, we will learn how to manage fixed asset depreciation. Fixed assets are a company's tangible assets that are used in its business operations. Assets like machinery, computers, furniture can be categorized as fixed assets. Depreciation is when you write off certain value of your assets as an expense. For example, if you have a computer that you will use for five years, you can distribute its total cost as a depreciation expense over the period of five years. Let's check steps to manage fixed assets and its depreciation in ERP next. Go to Chart of Accounts. Enter account name. Set account type as fixed asset. Categorize your fixed assets using asset category. All your desktops and laptops can be part of an asset category name or computers. Enter asset category name. Select the depreciation method. Enter total number of depreciations. For example, if the asset life is 5 years and depreciation is yearly, then frequency of depreciation would be 12 months, and total number of depreciation will be 5. On purchase of a fixed asset item, fixed asset account selected will be debited. When booking depreciation, depreciation account as selected here will be affected. Save asset category. Create an item for the fixed asset type. Enter item code and item name. Uncheck maintain stock. Save item. Check as fixed asset and select asset category. Create an asset master for each unit of asset item. For example, if you have 10 computers, then you should create 10 asset records. Let's add a new asset. Enter asset name. Select the item code. Asset category will be auto-fetched from the item master. Select a warehouse. Select purchase date. Enter the gross purchase amount. Value in these fields will be fetched from the asset category setup. Select the next depreciation date. Save asset. On saving the asset, schedule for depreciation will be generated. Submit asset. You can also check the graphical presentation of how an asset is planned to be depreciated over a period. When depreciation date arrives, journal entry will be created automatically to book depreciation for this asset. For some reason, if depreciation entry is not created automatically, then here is how you can create depreciation entry manually. In the depreciation schedule table, Click on the row where schedule date is same as the current date. In this row, you will see button to make depreciation entry. Click on it to manually create depreciation entry. Click on the journal entry ID to view depreciation entry. In depreciation entry, accumulated depreciation account will be credited, and depreciation expense account will be debited. Transactions related to an asset like purchasing, sales, depreciation, scrapping will be managed from the asset master.
adding existing assets. Check is existing asset. Select supplier. Enter opening accumulated depreciation. Number of depreciations booked. Amount in accumulated depreciation will include value of already booked depreciation and value of first depreciation entry. Hope you found this video tutorial useful. For free ERP Next account, sign up on ERPNext.com. Thanks for watching.